And when it's become hard, how he will be it? Allah says he is the person who is in clear straying. He, it becomes difficult as if he's been lifted onto the sky. The previous eyes I'm referring to. So this is the problem. So this kind of behavior I will read further in the ayahs. What happens when the Islam is not, he's not getting the peace. He's not getting the peace. Why? Surah As-Saf 61 and Ayah 7. وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَاءُ عَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَاءُ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ وَهُوَ يُدْعَى إِلَى الْإِسْلَامِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي قَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ And who is the most of the oppressor from the one who invents a lie on Allah and he is invited towards Al-Islam to attain peace and Allah does not guide the people who are oppressors. Look at the person. This person who is in clear saying, he is becoming an oppressor. Allah says, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمْ مَنِ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ Who is the most of the oppressor from the one who invents a lie on Allah. Allah al-kadhib. He thinks he is following the message. No, he is inventing lie on Allah's ayahs. Because he's got the message, but he doesn't want to implement, implement and follow. So he is inventing a lie on Allah's ayah. Islam, and he himself is being invited towards to attain peace, Islam. But he is inventing a lie on Allah's ayah from the of the remembrance of Allah. Woman Islam. And who is the most of the oppressor from the one who invents a lie? On Allah, He is invited towards Islam to attain peace. If you are just reading the ayahs and if you are not implementing the ayahs, you may quote an ayah to somebody, believe me. So Allah is inviting you if you are not implementing. You are in the most of the oppressor. Anyone who understands the ayat and he doesn't implement his life, he is the most of the oppressor and his heart has become hard on the river. He is not getting the message. This book is for guidance. It is not just sharing the knowledge to other person or pointing a finger to other person. It is not just sharing. It is you are being invited to Islam because you have not attained peace yourself. It is you, you have to attain peace yourself. So this person is who is the most of the oppressor from the one who invites to, uh, invents a lie on Allah and he is invited towards Islam to attain peace that he himself has not reached or attained peace in his life. If you have not attained peace in your life, what are you talking about ayats? So it is very important that you must or we must, until unless the Islam is completed on you, you must know what are you doing. Because the nature is that you must attain peace. If you are able to attain peace, then you share the message. If you are not following the ayats, then you are just quoting an ayat, you are being invited to Islam and you may be the most of the oppressor. Very important. Wallahu la yahdil qawmaz zalimeen and Allah does not guide the people who are oppressors. Now I will be, these few ayahs I am discussing, the person is relating to a zalim or an oppressor and the person who is hard has become hard. Al-Imran 3 and Ayah 85. وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَ فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهِ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And whosoever seeks a deen judgment other than Islam to attain peace, then it will never be accepted for him and he will be from the lost ones in the last. Since he, this is the most of the oppressor, he is not taking lessons for himself, but he seeks a deen, a judgment, other than Islam to attain peace. You see, I told you in life, there are many, many situations. There are subul as salam, there are many ways of salam to peace, to attain peace. Every ayat that tells us or governs us to, uh, that, that we are governing. In any situation that I come in life, and I take into consideration any ayat, what the ayat says. Now, in that particular situation, my feelings are so much motivated, that I think that this governing ayat is right. I understand this governing ayat, but I do not because my feelings are not so. 
so I take a judgment according to my vain desire other than Islam to attain peace but I know the ayat I know the ayat the essence of an ayah but I do not implement because my vain desire is so much dominating my personality it is not, it's not giving me uh, peace so that means I have taken a judgment on my desire not on, not on the governing ayahs so I will not attain peace but I may know the ayat I may talk about the ayat I mean me also in this, in this crowd remember this is which we have to take lessons from the ayat that in, in a situation other than judgment of Islam to attain peace if you are not taking judgments from the ayat to attain peace in life if you are not doing so then this is nothing this is making you are not getting anything out of it so Allah said Allah will not accept he will not accept your judgment how much you are crazy of that, that philosophy of psychology you are after money or you are after any vain desire you have got or love or affliction on manat and yagus and yawuk or nasar and anything whom you love whom your, your feelings are attached if you are attached to anything other than taking into consideration what Allah has tells us in the ayahs and you do not make the judgment right correct it may go against your brains you have to take the judgment in the eyes of God, the right judgment. If you will not, Allah will not accept. This is very clear. Any judgment in life, you take a decision and the judgment is not based on ayat. Knowingly, he will not accept. Remember, this is very clear that people do not take the judgments on the basis of the Quranic ayat. They consult the Quran, they ask the question, they understand the essence, but they live their life the way they like. The life they are lead just for the know-how, for the knowledge, I must know what Quran says. What, the, what does, the difference does it make? If you do, do not implement that governing ayat at that, in that particular situation, this is how you will attain peace. If you are not taking the judgment, then Allah says, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَ And whosoever seeks a judgment, other than Islam to attain peace, other than to not to attain peace, because you will not attain peace in that, that, in that area where you have taken the judgment not based on ayas mokamat ayat you have taken on your vain desire so you will not Allah will not accept and he will be the lost ones and the last the same personality I am telling you the same person who is an oppressor who is taking judgments other than Islam why he is doing all this his heart is hardened in Surah Hujrat 49. Allah tells us, "Qul atu alimun Allah bi dinukum, wallahu yaglam ma fi al-samawat wa ma fi al-ard, wallahu bi kulli shayin alim." Say, do you teach Allah with your deen judgment? And Allah knows that what is in the skies and in the earth, and Allah is the knower of everything. So what he's doing is he's telling Allah says, "Qul atu alimun Allah bi dinukum." Say, do you teach Allah about your judgment? When you have taken a judgment other than Islam, other than to attain peace in your own desires, you have done it. So you are trying to tell Allah about your judgment, why you have done it. And then you give the reasons. Remember, you are the giving reason in this world to other people in a dialogue or a discussion. Whenever you are giving a discussion in a dialogue or a decision, you are telling you why you have taken this decision other than Islam other than to attain peace, other than all the Allah's ayahs, governing ayahs, you are not doing by that, but you try to explain things, how it works. So when are you explaining, you are basically telling me and telling at the same time Allah. So Allah says, قُلْ أَتُوا عَلِّمُونَ اللَّهَ بِذِذِكُمْ Because you know, you are trying to tell Allah about your judgment. وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah knows what is in the skies and the earth, He knows that. He is telling us what, to, what, to, what judgment we have to make on the governing eyes. He, you are not doing that, but now you are trying to explain your own desires. Okay, because of this, because of this situation and because of this, because I am like this and like this, you are trying to tell Allah about your judgment. This is you who are telling Allah your judgment by not performing or not following the commandments or the orders of Allah. You are not giving me excuses, you are giving Allah the excuses. And he is giving you, he is putting you into an, an account and you will not attain peace in Islam and you will not attain peace and you will not take the judgment of Allah on the, uh, to attain peace so Allah says Qul atu Allah you are telling Allah about your judgment you are telling Allah why, why are you not following the ayahs you are the most of the biggest of oppressor why 
You are telling Allah, no, what, what? Wallahu ya'alamu ma fi samawati ma wa fil. Wallahu bi kulli shanali. Allah knows what in the skies and then He knows your hearts. So how are you trying to befool yourself? Now there are people, he says, in the further eyes, there is a behavior. يَمُنُّونَ عَلَيْكَ نَسْلَمُوا قُلْ لَا تَمُنُّوا عَلَيَّ إِسْلَامَكُمْ بَلِ اللَّهُ يَمُنُّوا عَلَيْكُمْ أَنْ هَدَاكُمْ لِلْإِيمَانِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ They take as a favor on you. They, they, they have submitted. Say, do not take your Islam to attain peace as a favor on me. But Allah has favored on you that He has guided you to believe if you are truthful. Another behavior. The ta- the, this is referring to Messenger Muhammad Rasulullah that all times and today also, when we say that we submit to the ayahs, we just say by lip service, we say that we, they, they take as a favor on you that they have submitted. People, we, we people say, well, we have started reading the Quran, we are submitting to the ayahs. What you submit? Yes, you, how do you submit? Whenever in my lifetime, Whenever an ayahs are being recited, believe me, the first behavior is of everybody in my experience. When I say, Yamunnu alayka an aslamu, I said, they take as a favor on you that they have submitted. I read in Arabic and I read the trans- translation. Before I open mouth, people say, yes, 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 aslamu. And when I question them, is this what you understand? Is this what you're understanding? Then they, Achha, this is what is written now. Now they see what is written. Before I started it, they said, yes, agreed. Submission is there. Believe me, every human being that I have come across in my life, you read an ayah, this is right, this is agree, 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 agree. Not any person say, I do not agree to this ayah. Not single one in my life. Submission is immediate. So don't you think that you can befool me or Allah, of course, by saying you submit. Every individual in my lifetime of 18 years of discussion, you read an ayah and translate and ask him, he'll say, yes, I agree to this. But, here comes his but. And now when the but comes, he explains the reason why he's not following it. Why he is not following is the reason comes then. The reason. So that is Allah say, you are telling Allah about your judgment now. Or you say, that's why Allah says that he has submitted, Qullah tamannu alayya islamakum. Say, do not Take, uh, do not take your Islam to attain peace as a favor on, on me. Your Islam. You think you are in, in peace. This is referring to your Islam. Islam atum. Your Islam. Your peace. You think you have attained peace? Say that do not take a favor. Or do not take your Islam to attain peace as a favor on me. But Allah has favored you. That he has guided you to the iman. To believe if you are truthful. If you are truthful. That you say that you have attained peace. Because you say your Islam means you have said that I have attained. They say, Yamunnu alayka an aslamu. They take as a favor on you. The people are saying we are submitting. We submit, we submit, we submit. So let's say they take as a favor. Favor on Messenger Muhammad Rasulullah. That we have submitted. Uh, when, after all, whenever you read the Quranic ayahs, finally the credit go to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah. It is Allah's kalam and Messenger Muhammad Rasulullah delivered it. So when you say you submit to an ayah, you are saying to Allah and his messenger. Because this is said by messenger. So here they say they take as a favor that they have submitted. So they say that we have said, they take as a favor, a son, that we have submitted to the ayahs. So Allah says, Qul say to these people, do not take your Islam, your attaining peace as a favor on me. You think you have attained peace? Don't say it's a favor on me to Muhammad Rasulullah. No, you cannot say this. And further, it is you are truthful, but if you are truthful, but Allah has favored you that has guided you to the belief, to Iman. That you have come to know from the ayahs of Allah what is the belief. So by the ayahs of Allah, Allah is guiding you to the Iman, to the belief. Allah has shown you the way. But if you have really submitted, then if you are truthful, Allah says if you are truthful, then this is a favor of Allah on you. That he has guided you to Iman, to belief. This is Allah is doing it. I, I started with, mis, with my talk and generally it's a very common practice. Uh, it's a very common practice that when we meet brothers uh, in Islam to each other, we say, Assalamu Alaikum. 
translated is peace be upon you, peace be unto you. This uh, is a, a practice of the Muslim community. Why? Because they are, these, this is a teaching given in the eyes of Allah, in the Quran. In the next ayah that I read, is related that why we say salamu alaikum and why we people are saying in country and when we have to say peace be unto you salamu alaikum al furqan 25 and ayah 63 wa ibadur rahmani wa ibadur rahmani alladhina yamshuna ala al ardi hawna wa idha khatabu wa idha khatabahum al jahilun qalu salama and the servants of most gracious are those who walk on earth with easiness, calmness, and when ignorant man addresses them, they say salam. They say salam, peace. Now the Allah in this ayah, Allah is telling the behavior of those people who are the servants of most gracious, or in other words, who are believers and following and implementing the governing ayahs. The Abadur Rahman and the servants of most gracious are those who walk on earth with calmness and easiness. Why they are walking with calmness and easiness? Why? Because they have attained peace. So they don't have to be arrogant. They have attained peace. They are walking with easiness and calmness. They have attained peace in life. They don't have to influence anybody. They don't have to bother about anybody. They are leading a peaceful life. So they are walking on earth with easiness and calmness and when ignorant man addresses them they say Kalu salama peace peace you understand peace this is going on so you must know what I, the ayah is telling to the ignorant say salam when he khatabum khatab he addresses you khatab in arabic means to when he addresses you a jail man ignorant so you say salam so another ayat, Al-Qasas 28 and Ayah 55. Now, now these ayahs are related to whom and how you say salam, peace. وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا اللَّغْوَ أَعْرَضُوا عَنْهِ وَقَالُوا لَنَا أَعْمَالُنَا وَلَكُمْ أَعْمَالُكُمْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ لَا نَبْتَغِ الْجَاهِلِينَ And when they hear idle talk, they avoid from it. And they say, our works and doings, our works or doings are for us. And your works or doings are for you. Salamu alaikum, salamu alaikum, peace be unto you. We do not seek the ignorant. We do not seek the ignorant. Now, <laughs> this, you see, I, what is an idle talk? Idle talk, lagu. Any discussion by which virtue there is no result. Idle talk, idle, you know, there is no constructive discussion. There is no positive uh, uh, result of a discussion this is an idle talk just waste idle talk idle talk does not reaches with any discussion. Allah says when you hear this kind of discussion going on uh, when you hear an idle talk they avoid from it first of all a believer who knows the ayahs he listen for a while what's the oh uh, this making no sense this is just sarcasm and just criticizing you know, just walk off but if they address you then they say our works for us our works are doings for us. Our works, our works for us. And your works for you. Salamun alaikum. Peace be unto you. So that means to, to, to the one who is an ignorant. Allah says, We do not seek the ignorant. Again, he's an ignorant man. This ignorant man, we are continually saying salamu alaikum to this ignorant. He is doing idle talks. No constructive, no results. No uh, conclusive result is there. He's just an idle talker. And when he addresses you, Allah says, say salam. Again he's saying, tell him that your, our works is for us. Your works is for you. What you are doing is for you. And salamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Salam. Peace be unto you. you. This expression, you must come forward. And if you can't say this, salamu alaikum, believe me, you are not following ayat. You are not following the ayat if you meet an ignorant man and you do not open your mouth and say Assalamu Alaikum. Instead your ego came. Instead of your ego came. If you knew the ayahs and when an ignorant addresses you, you have not addressed him Salamu Alaikum. Peace. Salam. Peace. You have not come with this. That means you are not following yourself the ayahs. This is the behavior on Ibadur Rahman. 
that when you talk to first of all you not you don't know he's an ignorant man you just in few minutes you come to know this is an ignorant man and if this you know this is an ignorant man you must know this ayas two ayas either you tell him salam and then if you want to talk further say our works is for us your works are for you and salamu alaikum we do not seek the ignorance this is an expression based on ayas the behavior of the ibadur rahman of the most gracious servants of allah we have to believe and practice this kind of behavior this is the behavior of of people who have to follow the quran so there are people who are ignorant who will behave like this so you should know what how how you should to tackle with this kind of people they, they are there in the world now further if you go another ayat again to the believers now surah al-an'am 6 ayah 54 وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةَ أَنَّهُ مَنْ عَمِلَ مِنْكُمْ سُوءًا بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ تَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَصْلَحَ فَأَنَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ And when they come to you who believe with our ayahs, signs, then they say, Salam, peace be on you. Your Lord has written mercy on himself. and among you who did bad in ignorance then after then he repents returns and corrects then surely he is forgiving merciful now this is the behavior who believe in allah's ayas allah says when he comes to you when they people comes to the messenger or we this is a, a practice of the believers when they when they come to you who believe with our ayas they say salamun alaikum peace be on to you salam means peace beyond to you so now these are the people who are saying this are the servants of most gracious most abadur rahman or people who believe people who believe in the ayas they say salamun alaikum peace be unto you so for that allah said your lord has written mercy on himself your lord has written mercy rahma kataba rabbukum ala nafsi rahma allah has written mercy on himself and among you who did bad in ignorance then after then he repents or amends or returns and corrects then surely is of forgiving most merciful allah is merciful so in this in this portion of anaya there is a behavior of the believers who believe in the allah's ayas they say salamun alaikum mean peace be unto you we must know this even if you have got a chance when you say to a person who doesn't know arabic or explain this salam to him believe me if you think he is not a muslim you give him salam alaikum and if you got a chance you explain what is salam on peace be unto you and explain this how you attain attain peace do you have peace in life ask him do you have peace in life and if he doesn't say no i don't have peace in life then you should explain why how how to attain peace in life he wants to have peace in life you start a discussion with this but first you must give the meaning of salam alaikum why i'm saying salam alaikum you christian why i'm saying salam alaikum you buddhist why i'm saying salam alaikum you hinduism you follow hindu mazhab I am saying salam alaikum. Basically, I am transferring or sharing peace on you. It's the start of discussion. And once you start a discussion, you tell them you want to live in peace. Are you in peace? He may say yes, I am. But no, you ask him in the real sense. Don't lie to yourself. Then you then he will say no. Then he will tell you some problem. Then you must can refer it and I to him. Then he says this is how you. What is the Quran give you? This this is how you can give. It gives you guidance. So in this, I say those people who believe in our ayahs, they say salam alaikum. and when igno- ignorant man uh, addresses them they say salam wan alaikum same salam say salam peace 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 so in all of our life we have to share this word peace to other people not only salam means peace peace to be shared within you and peace to be shared within the community these ayahs that i am reading is the sharing of peace the word peace itself also to other people how can we share this peace word to other people we have to first believe and practice the governing eyes ourselves then we have to share this peace word itself word to the other word by translating the word islam or salam into english or into urdu if you are speaking in urdu by translation giving the meaning of the word because it is not being translated it has become a foreign and alien word to all the nationalities of the world this word is not being translated in any any language of the world they just put islam as one word <clears throat> one word so if i just uh, end my this uh, uh, talk 
by giving you, reading you the last uh, uh, collection of the ayahs, Surah Safat 37 and Ayah 180, 181, 182. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun Wa Salamun Ala Al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Glory to your Lord, the Lord of the owner, uh, honor from what they describe and salam, peace is over the messengers and the praise is for Allah who is the Lord of the worlds In these ayahs Allah is telling us that it is glory to your Lord Our Lord is Allah Glory to Him Glory to your Lord Who is the Lord of the honor All the Izza Izza Rabbil Izza Izzata means the honor the, is, We don't have to show our Izzat to Lord All Izzat The Rabb The Lord of the Izzat To be given The honor to be given Is, is Allah Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon Glory to your Lord The Lord of the honor For what they describe What they ascribe to Allah وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ And salam, peace, salam, peace over all the messengers in plural. Have you, have you, have you seen, do you say how we say salam over, over the messengers? We say Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim, peace be upon him. Don't we say? Ismail salamu alayhi salam. This is salamun alal mursaleen. Salam, peace over the messengers. When we say Ibrahim or Ismail or Muhammad Rasulullah or Isa Rasulullah, all the messengers, when I take the, we take the names of them, we say alayhi salam, alayhi salam, meaning over him is peace, over him is peace. Peace is on him, peace be upon him. We say peace be upon him in English. Although they don't translate salam to you, we say alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Nu alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. And this all you are saying salam, salam, peace be upon them. So salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. And salam, peace is over the messengers. So all the messengers is peace is over them. And we have to share this peace to the mankind. We have to first of all share this peace within ourselves. And once you have attained peace, then we have to share this peace to the other people. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen And praise is for Allah who is the Lord of the worlds So now this is the total lecture we have discussed about Islam I'll just conclude in few words That Islam I've told you is to attain peace Whenever we meet people we should say Assalamu alaikum mean peace be upon you Salam to on you peace This word is not being translated In the foreign language of the world So it has become a foreign word and then what when they don't translate then they they say in Islam people are doing this and Islam people are doing this and Islam people are doing this. this is the general practice how the people are saying that in Islam people believe this in Islam the Islam is the word and then you say anything in the name of Islam so first if you know the meaning so if you say Islam is the religion of sword Islam is terrorism suppose if somebody says so you just translate this word in English and think peace Islam means peace to attain peace to attain peace is the religion of sword. What does it mean? Not mean nothing. To attain peace is terrorism. 